Welcome to On Demand with Screen Crush. I'm your host, Matt Singer. Twice a month here on On Demand, we give you three exciting new titles you can watch at home right now without ever putting your pants on. In other words, Nirvana. Let's kick things off with one of the best movies of 2016 so far. Richard Linklater's last movie was called Boyhood. His newest movie, Everybody Wants Some, could have been called Manhood, and it basically picks up right where the last movie ended. It's also a spiritual sequel to Linklater's classic high school hangout movie, Dazed and Confused. Instead of the last day of high school, it's set on the first weekend of college at a Texas university where the school's baseball team comes together for the first time. The competitiveness, you know, you get a lot of guys together that age. Jake, 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 Jake. Uh, but fun, you know, really bonded, you know, you're, it, it just, those are very important relationships and a lot of those people become lifelong friends. Everybody Wants Some is available now from Movies On Demand. If you like films like Everybody Wants Some about what it means to be a man in modern society, but you prefer when they have a bit more punching and spandex, might I suggest you check out Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, the latest film from Watchmen and 300 director Zack Snyder. BBS DOJ or Vivzdaj continues the saga of Snyder's Superman movie Man of Steel. And in this two-hander where Ben Affleck's Dark Knight decides that an alien god with death lasers for eyes is a bit too dangerous to be left unsupervised. Will these two titans clash? Well, duh, obviously it's called Batman versus Superman, not Batman and Superman are besties. He has the power to wipe out the entire human race. Batman vs. Superman is available now from Movies On Demand. Finally this month, we've got the latest critically acclaimed documentary from Alex Gibney, the filmmaker behind docs like Enron, The Smartest Guys in the Room, Going Clear, Scientology and the Prison of Belief, and the Academy Award winning Taxi to the Dark Side. Gibney might be the most prolific documentarian on the planet. In the last 10 years alone, he's made movies about Hunter S. Thompson. Fila Cooney, Lance Armstrong, Steve Bartman, Jack Abramoff, Julian Assange, Ken Kesey, Elliot Spitzer, Frank Sinatra, James Brown, Steve Jobs. <gasps> Whew. In the time it took me to recite that list of names, I think he made two more documentaries. His latest movie, at least for a couple of weeks, is called Zero Days. It's about a terrifying computer virus that could destroy our country's digital infrastructure. The monster turned against its creator, and now everyone is in this game. The most extensive attack on American banks ever launched from the Middle East happening right now. This has the whiff of August 1945. Somebody just used a new weapon, and this weapon will not be put back into the box. Zero Days is available now from Movies On Demand. That's going to wrap things up for this installment of On Demand with Screen Crush. We'll be back in two weeks with more recommended titles, but in the meantime, here's even more movies available from Movies On Demand. For full details on everything that's currently available on demand and for everything from the world of movies, be sure to check out ScreenCrush.com. I'm Matt Singer, and I'll see you next time.